chronic rhinosinusitis. What is it? Um, you know, why is it not all types are the same? And, you know, how do you really kind of tailor the treatments based um, that you may recommend based on the type? So chronic sinusitis, just like you guys, I'm sure think of in your specialties, chronic usually means sustained over a period of time. And in this case, we're talking three months. Rhino sinusitis, when you break it down, really is just nose and sinus inflammation, right? But there's definitely, I think, a misconception when someone says sinusitis that it automatically mm -hmm. equals infection. And I think that's where we right. get in mm -hmm. trouble. Because what we what we are beginning to understand more about is that chronic rhino sinusitis is much more an immune system breakdown or dysfunction than just an infection problem. So the cardinal symptoms, there's four main symptoms that we talk about when we talk about either acute or chronic rhino sinusitis. Then that's going to be nasal congestion, but I kind of don't like that word because congestion means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And then nasal drainage. And again, people are going to tell you whether it's front or back, you know, post nasal drip. Is it purulent and nasty looking or is it just clear um, facial pressure or headaches and then reduced sense of smell? So those are those four symptoms. And you have to have some combination, you know, more than one of those. Um, to and then over that 12 week period to kind of meet that definition for chronic rhinosinusitis. There's not, it's not as easy as an algorithm to say, okay, here's your antibiotic, here's your prednisone, see you back in three weeks or something. You really have to think about could it be allergies? Could it be an immune deficiency? Is it a persistent infection? And if so, where's that infection coming from? We see a lot of patients with like um, dental or odontogenic sources that can linger. 